Hello everyone, I'm Green Chap and I'm here to show you my next build, a waterfall based typewriter. Here you can input your letters, you have to wait for the light to turn back on before you can then click your next letter. The pulse gets translated into a single line of redstone up through here and into this mega structure. Here you can see the letters which you have pressed, and if you press the show button down here, it will display the entire word at once. Here is another example of something else that you could write into the typewriter. And once you have finished putting all your letters in, just make sure to let the letters flow through before you then go to click the button to show all of it at the same time. Let me take this opportunity to say that only 4.4% of my viewers are from subscribers, so please subscribe if you haven't. I can also use this lever to repeat a saying over and over again. However, due to all the block updates, when you have a few letters, the server side is fine, but client side can get a little laggy and water decides to not update as you might want it to. You can also use this button to clear what was there so that you can then input another word or sentence. The input starts with this pulse length encoder. The shortest pulse is just a button press to the output. However, each button press also goes straight to the output and to the previous pulse, just going in a snake-like motion all the way to this button which has the longest pulse, and you can see the pulse snaking all the way back to the exit. There are a few parts of the decoder, however. First part being a water stream. There's a difficulty being that if you push a soul sand into a bubble column, there's a longer delay than when you remove the soul sand. To combat this, I just developed this quick system to always only have one pulse at a very specific delay by having it retract at the same moment, causing only a single pulse. Next, I use a technique called double powering. Here, when you usually observe a power, a torch, it does not turn off. However, using two observers on the same tick, you do get a pulse. By having a torch tower on the rising edge of a pulse and a bubble column on the falling edge of the pulse, the longer the pulse, the higher up the torch tower power signal transfer will be when the falling edge occurs, and when both this torch and this torch are off on the same tick, this rail turns off and powers this part. So by choosing this button, the short pulse, it only makes it to the bottom before it gets powered, however if I click this button, since the pulse is longer, the torch tower can make it higher and power the top part, hence decoding the pulse length. Once the signal pulse has been decoded into its separate layer, I then just use this small machine to toggle that layer on and to turn all layers off when clearing, I just turn off the torch and it stays in its depowered state. This is the letter encoding. When I press this note block, the repeaters will add delay, which will essentially create the height of the letter. These observers then just transfer the signal to the length of the letter, and then these top observers are what toggles the dispensers to create gaps in the waterfall which create letters. And in this case, we have a simple V. Now, because all the letters are on their separate layers, to make sure that all the letters are in sync, I use a cobblestone wall 
to transfer signal immediately downwards, so that the bottom receives the pulse always at the same time, which means that all the letters, no matter what they are, are in sync. To only activate one letter at a time, I use a simple shift register, which allows for only one section to be powered at a time. When I want to clear the letter, I let the power go all the way through and reset the shift register, ready to put another sentence in. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more of my builds when I'm bothered to make them, please consider subscribing and like this video.